Hi, it's freezer time. Sneak peek of my gym to get to the freezers. This pan is like 20,000 years old. No guanya, more like 26 years old. Freezer friendly Guam food saves you time, saves you money, and saves you your energy. Cooking an extra family sized serving or two of your favorite Guam and Chumal recipes is a lifesaver. Today's meal consists of chamorro pot roast from three months ago. I used a Reverence Farm roast and it turned out to be the most incredibly tender and delicious pot roast ever. Recipes are linked below and at the end of the video. This red rice is also from a few months ago. The key to good red rice from the freezer is to use short or medium grain rice and make sure you use plenty of mantika or fat. I forgot to thaw this last night so the middle is still frozen. Sprinkle with a little water before reheating. There's nothing like being able to pull cooked food from the freezer to make meals and a snack. Next up is golai appan agat from a month ago. I love having a handy recipe that makes use of overripe cooking bananas. I made the sweet version of golai appan suni and kamuti a month ago. I love the color and the varying degrees of sweetness between the taro and the purple sweet potatoes. This eggplant finadeni was frozen a week ago. From the freezer, you thaw it, but you must add enough coconut milk to make it creamy again. Taste and sprinkle in more salt if you need to. I love that this chamo eggplant dish freezes so well. I can make plenty and have plenty for later. No, pickle papaya wasn't frozen. It's not something I freeze, but my husband loves this stuff. Again, all recipes are linked below. For the red rice, microwave from cold for a minute to make it fluffy again. Golai up an agat takes about 40 seconds. This Guam side dish is excellent to have on hand in the freezer because it complements many foods. Golai up and suni and kamuti take 40 seconds too. Coconut milk makes everything delish and coconut milk rich dishes freeze beautifully. The chamorro pot roast was somewhat frozen because I thawed it this morning instead of last night. I use the defrost function for 3 minutes then heat on high for 30 seconds. It came out great. I found that when I freeze and thaw cooked meats, they come out more tender. Man, this is gonna be so good, but it's my husband's meal because I'm fasting today. Lucky dude. Rosketti will be for his dessert. I hope you found this freezable Guam food video helpful. I wish I did all this when my kids were little. It sure would have saved time, money, and energy. Adios.